Process engineering should be a dynamic related structure constituted by varying levels of processes with different properties and different time space scales and also a dissipative structure gathering process and dynamic structure together. In this video, we will tell you about what is process engineering. Before starting the video, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so you would get notified when we upload the next video. Number 9. What is a process engineer? Process engineering is a way in which organizations study their current business processes and develop new methods to improve productivity, efficiency, and operational costs. Business process engineering focuses on new business processes, how to diagnose problems with an organization's current methodology, and how to redesign, reconstruct, and monitor processes to ensure they are effective. Business Process Engineering BPE, uses a proven systematic approach based on the latest experiences and research to achieve significant improvements. The BPE process helps clients fundamentally rethink and reinvent the business processes needed to achieve the firm's strategic objectives through the maximum use of enabling technologies and organizational strategies. A BPE effort can result in a 15% to 50% improvement in performance of the targeted business processes, depending upon whether re-engineering or an improvement approach is used in the effort. A business process engineer helps develop and improve business processes. Job duties often include using data to measure the effectiveness of current procedures and suggesting improvements. Many people in this career work as consultants, but some firms do retain internal engineers. Job qualifications for a business process engineer typically include a bachelor's or a master's degree, work experience, and problem-solving skills. Process engineers help to transform raw materials into valuable everyday products. They are responsible for designing, implementing, controlling, and optimizing industrial processes and machinery in the manufacturing industry. Within pharmaceutical and medical device manufacturing, these processes can also be chemical or biochemical. As such, process engineering jobs can be extremely varied. The role is similar to that of a chemical engineer, which can often be a source of confusion for those outside the profession. While a process engineer is a type of chemical engineer, they typically focus less on chemistry and more on mathematics and physics. Basically, human process engineering, or re-engineering, is the act of studying a business and creating completely new processes that are very efficient. Number 8. How to become a process engineer To pursue a career as a business process engineer, you must understand how to interpret data to make recommendations for process improvements. The minimum qualifications for this job include a bachelor's or a master's degree in engineering, mathematics, physics, or a similar discipline. You also need significant professional experience. Some employers expect as much as 10 years in a relevant position. You also need a strong knowledge of data analysis and presentation and business management. Written communication skills are also beneficial in this career. You need strong computer skills, knowledge of industry-relevant equipment, leadership abilities, and an aptitude for process engineering. You should observe some points when implementing business process engineering, such as a change of focus from management to the customer, managers must give power to their teams, focus on results, it's not positive to score points, but to lead and teach. Simple and optimized processes are better than complicated and intricate processes. If a process continually doesn't work, it's time to come up with a new one, looking to the future. Always identify goals and purposes. Keep the company mission in mind. Only by following these recommendations will business process engineering work as expected. Number 7. Begins with data. Unless you're creating an all-new business process that has never been done before, there will always be data to inform the business process engineering effort. If you're starting a new enterprise, you can look at the ways in which other businesses perform similar processes. If you're hoping to improve current processes, you can analyze data you have already accumulated. Some experts say that you should start with a blank slate when you embark on business process engineering, and if you're designing a new business process, that's all you have to get started with anyway. 
However, if you're looking at existing processes, it may not be necessary to chuck out everything you've been doing to date. As the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Your data will include where the problem areas are, and from there you could track the problem to its source. Of course, that means you need not only the correct data, but a correct interpretation of the data. Remember, a problem may not be the fault of the particular part of the process where it manifests itself, but it may have originated earlier on in a process or even a process that only contributes to the one that you're looking at. Once again, your data is key to finding out where each piece of the process puzzle fits. Number 6. Don't be afraid to start from scratch. It can almost be easier to engineer business processes from the perspective of a brand new enterprise. There are no entrenched habits, no processes that have become bogged down in complex steps that there were good reasons for, even though nobody remembers what they were, and no resistance to change. Sometimes mature organizations find that it is best to start from scratch. If a process is wasteful and dysfunctional from start to finish, there's a sure sign you need to rethink absolutely everything. At other times, a process runs smoothly up to a point and then gets bogged down. If the earlier steps created the situation, then they must either go or face radical adjustment. Starting over when you've always worked in a particular way can be difficult. The need for a paradigm shift is perhaps one of the reasons why businesses choose external business process engineering consultants. They look at the business processes from a fresh perspective, but they will need a lot of information and much of you and your employees' time to get the full picture. And at the end of it all, your business remains accountable for any changes made and will pay the price if the business process engineering initiative fails. Number 5. What makes business process engineering a success? Whether you call in a consultancy firm or embark on a business process engineering yourself, there are factors that will contribute to or detract from your chances of success. Your business process engineering team must be highly motivated and well-informed and ready to think outside of the box. Know what business needs you seek to address. Do you hope to deliver an excellent customer experience? Are you seeking more effective ways to get things done? Your goals inform the way which you engineer your processes for efficiency. Have the IT infrastructure you need. With business process engineering, IT infrastructure provides the tools and data that are needed. Effective change management strategies help to get all the affected parties working together towards common goals. Commitment to continual improvement is a must. Whether you're setting up processes that will run for the first time or are streamlining, changing or revising existing systems, the actual results you achieve will point towards areas for further improvement. Number 4. Agency or Leadership Commitment and Sponsorship The first step to moving forward with a BPR initiative is ensuring that your entire party is on board for an internal change. This is called agency buy-in and applies to the leaders of a change initiative within an agency and the employees who will be affected by the change. To be fully committed to a business process re-engineering initiative, agency leaders must communicate a transformation that will be happening in the near future. This includes a catch-up on why the agency is choosing to implement new strategies and how its employees will be affected. Number 3. Inclusion of the Right People Once buy-in has been achieved across the board, leaders of the proposed BPR initiative can recruit subject matter experts to contribute their insights on how to go about the transformation. Specialists in the field who are eager to draw up a roadmap can make contributions regarding subjects that agency leaders may not have the right expertise in, such as IT or HR. They should be provided with direction by a supervising team member, such as a senior manager, who has a high level of knowledge of the agency's current business processes and how the departments work as a whole. Number 2. Clear understanding of the business needs Implementation of a BPR strategy requires an understanding of current processes and a precise vision for the future. Once an agency has illustrated an exact business need, comprehension and discussion of the resulting impacts of the business process re-engineering initiative will follow. With thorough communication regarding current and desired business processes, the team can then get a better feel of how much work is needed. By developing a solid understanding across the board that recognizes a need, 
the agency will establish what changes should be made before driving into the overhaul process. Without this clear vision for the future communicated between leaders and employees, a BPR initiative could be a waste of work that would have been more useful as a simple tweak or two to current systems and processes. Number 1. Crucial Change Management Conduct crucial change management by identifying the agency's KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators. These are the details that make up a BPR initiative as a whole and include factors such as the time it will take to overhaul the current processes, costs, and operational redundancies that can be eliminated, and so forth. The next step is to create a roadmap for your desired transformation. These are best created with the help of models and flowcharts. Additionally, keeping the end game in mind is essential to managing the desired change. Business process re-engineering is more than just adoption of new practices, but it should be tied to higher-end goals while simultaneously improving human capital. A well-thought-out change management strategy is crucial for success. This also includes a robust communication and employee engagement plan. Do let us know in the comments what are your thoughts about process engineering. Thanks for watching.